Welcome to SSP TV Community News. I'm Lisa Sugart. Today we are here outside Holy Rosary Church on Poplar Street in Hazleton. We are here on the site of the 9-11 Memorial that was placed here by the city of Hazleton one year after the horrific attacks of September 11, 2001. I'm very pleased to be joined by our good friend, Tony Colombo. Tony is a Hazleton councilman. He is vice president of council. He is also the president of the Hazleton Heights Fire Company and a volunteer firefighter with the Hazleton City Fire Department and the man responsible for what we see here today, this monument that was placed here. Tony, right from the start, you knew you were working as an EMT, I believe, at the time when all of this happened back on uh, September 11th of 2001. So take us back to where you were and how this came to be. At the time I was working in uh, Tomoka Ambulance as a paramedic, um, and when they put it on the news that they had this disaster happen, they were looking for volunteer paramedics, EMTs, and so on. So I contacted the late Dr. Greco uh, Sr., may he rest in peace, what could we do? So he made a phone call, and we were going. There was five paramedics from Tamaqua in the city here that was going down to New York to help at uh, the site. We were contacted that there was not going to be much survivors that their own department could handle it, but you know me, that was not good enough for me. We couldn't stop there, so we decided we have to do something. So I reached out to the chief of the department, of course, here, and I spoke with Father Janello, and it just started taking peace from there. And it just, as you can see today, the monument is just a beautiful tribute. It absolutely is. And ever since those horrific attacks, you have had a ceremony each and every year. But to have this piece of the World Trade Center here, how did that come about? Well, that piece is still uh, right after the fact that 2002, when we did the first event, Vinny Tamino was a retired firefighter in New York City. Uh, we got we got, got hooked up with him. He became part of Hazleton, and all of us in Hazleton, we, we became, we called him Uncle Vinny. And uh, he said, you just want a piece of steel. So initially, when we first put the, the it just had the benches, the, the monument, the stone, and the flagpoles. And then Vinny called, I can get you a piece of steel from the World Trade Center. So we took a trip to New York, New York City, myself and Joe Bugda, who was my right and left arm, but he since moved to Florida, which missed him, but we continue. And we went to the training site of where they trained the FDNY firefighters, and we cut a piece of steel and we brought the steel back and it was planted um, right where you see it. We just came up and looked at it now again, and it gives you chills to see this piece of steel here. How important is that to you right now, you know, and all of the first responders in this area to know that that's here? That monument means so much to us because I consider 9-11 the fire department's Pearl Harbor. You know, there was firefighters, there was police, there was EMTs, there was paramedics, there was everybody, plus the civilians. So uh, to have this monument here is very special. Uh, I'm humbled to see people after they come out of mass, they sit on a bench, little kids come over and touch it. Uh, it's really, it's important. And I think they need to teach that because right now in 2023, the kids don't know. But you ask somebody about 9-11 and they tell you it's time to forget. And you can't forget. And this mass will go on if I had to get wheeled in a wheelchair until I'm gone and I'm hoping, but when that happens, that somebody takes over because it is a very special day and I'd love to see it, a national holiday. But. Absolutely, to remember almost 3,000 lives lost. So Tony, the program, the Mass, will continue again. So it is taking place, uh, the Hazleton City Fire Department's 9-11 Memorial Mass on Monday, September 11th, 6 p.m., Annunciation Parish, that's at St. Gabriel's Church on Wyoming Street in Hazleton. Tell us what goes on at this program because you want the church full. You want everybody to come out. And you always told me, never forget. That's the, the most important thing if you take from uh, our interview today, anybody that's listening, the two words like Joan and I always said, never forget. If you don't remember anything else that we said, never forget that day. Um, the Mass is a beautiful Mass that we've, we've uh, had at St. Gabriel's with Father Mariusz. Uh, what we do is we place the ladder trucks out front of the church. We put the f American flag hanging from it, and we have the bike pipe with the black diamonds. They lead us in. All the fire department, EMS, fire uh, police, uh, provide EMS providers, everybody marches in in uniform, and the church, the people just love this mass. Uh, the mass goes on after the mass is over. We have a very small 
program. What we do is we re uh, read some names of those that have passed since last 9-11. We also have Ring the Bell, and we have American Legion Post 76 that does the gun salute, and then at the very end we do have taps. My goal someday before I finally wind up passing, to have the church full. And everybody, all sister companies from anywhere is invited to come in full class A uniform. All residents are invited to come. It is handicap accessible, so we have ways to get people in. And if somebody does need a ride, they can contact any one of us and we'll try to make sure we can get into this mass. People may think that maybe because, uh, you know, all of the firefighters, the first responders come out that it's full, that they, you know, they can't go. But there's a lot of room in that church. So there's plenty of room for everyone from everywhere watching this to come from. You don't have to be from a certain area. No, anybody can come from any area, surrounding area, the greater Hazleton area. Um, we get people come from Berwick, they come from Tamalqua, they come from Lansford, um, the whole area. I mean, everybody's invited because it's, it's not about Hazleton. This is about 9-11, about the victims that we lost that day. And like Chief Leshko would say, um, we didn't know any of them, the firefighters and police or EMS people, but it's a brotherhood. Um, I was there after, three days after the fact with Finney Tamino at Ground Zero, and I'll tell you, I'm not ashamed to admit, we cried like a baby. Absolutely. Um, again, we want everyone to come out, please, all ages. It's great to bring the kids, like you said, so they know what happened on September 11th of 2001. It is the Hazleton City Fire Department 9-11 Memorial Mass, Monday, September 11th, starting at 6 p.m., Annunciation Parish at St. Gabriel's Church on Wyoming Street in Hazleton. And we want to make sure, Tony, that no one ever forgets and thank you for what you do. Lisa, I'd like to thank you for being with me uh, through, what, 22 years now we've done this. When we first started, you and I were here when there was just a hole. And it's hard to believe, but it's 22 years. But we can never, never, never forget. I mean, just, you got to drill that in your heads. And those that have young children, you got to explain to them what this is all about. Because it's history that needs to be put into them. Like I said, this is the fire department's Pearl Harbor. So true. We want to leave you now with the words on this monument that again is outside Holy Rosary Church in Hazleton. This site is dedicated to those public servants and civilians who lost their lives while heroically attempting to save the thousands of innocent victims that resulted from the terrorist attacks on the United States of America in New York City, Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and Washington, D.C. September 11th, 2001.